So Adam, got a pack of cards here. Can you see it? Yep. I'm going to tell you right now, it is a double blank deck of cards. So the cards are blank on both sides. 52 cards in the deck. I will tell you there's 51 cards in that deck, Adam. Uh, there's 51 double blank cards. There's one card that's printed. It is a King of Spades. One card and one card only that's printed. Uh, it's King of Spades. It's got a red back. Now there's 52 cards in the deck. If you count the King of Spades, you, it's somewhere in the middle. You get to decide where, what position is that King of Spades. Um, 19th. Are you, are you sure? Yeah? As sure as I feel I can be, yep. <laughs> well, I don't want you to think I'm cheating. So 19, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, what I'll do is I'll deal down to the 19th card. Um, and what I'll do is I'll turn the cards over one at a time so you can see that they're blank on both sides. So 19. So watch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine. These, if you were here, you could examine these. These are genuinely blank, all examinable cards. There is one card and one card only that's printed in the 19th position, the King of Spades. Why, why did you think that wouldn't fool me? <laughs> I have no... I, and though that deck really is examinable? It's examinable. You, if you were here, you could touch it, you could examine it. It's genuinely just a blank, double blank deck of cards. There are no specially printed cards. There is only one. King. When I when I did this to Lloyd, he made me do it like four times. And he, he said, he said, write something on the card. I was like, okay, I'll write Murphy's on there. And he's like, no, don't write Murphy's. Write like tomato. I was like, okay, I'll write tomato. You, you can do this again right now. Yeah, let me just take it off camera. Hang on. Uh, let me just put it in a different position. It's in a different position. 23. Sure? Yeah. Want to change your mind? Uh-uh. 23? Yeah. That, that's the final answer. 23, that's it. 23? Yeah? Yeah. 23. Watch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. What was it again? 23. 15, uh -huh. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I have, I have not any idea. Not a clue, dude. There That's you go. really, really good. <laughs> I think that's the the only any card at any number. I know it's not any card, but that's the only premise of that plot I think I would do. It's cool, isn't it? I'm I'm completely floored. No clue. <laughs> that's a rough one to figure out. That's awesome. So I, I literally have zero idea. Right. Okay. I've got no idea. Dude, my mind is blown right now. <laughs> that is great. That is insane. <laughs> Mr. Craig Petty, I have no idea. <laughs> 23rd position. Yeah, I, I, I have absolutely no idea, Craig. That's really, really good. Um, just a minute, Craig, if that, can, it, can you just do it one more time? If you 
telling me 100% that everything's examinable, yeah, please let me watch it one more time. Every other card is blank. You can check those out, Steph. There is one card, and one card only that's printed in the 47th position. How? That's your queen card. What? No, no, no. It's blank, right? Oh, yeah, all blank. Oh. <laughs> This is exactly what the audience sees. You take a blank deck of cards, it's blank on both sides, you put it down on the table. You ask a spectator to name a number in that deck, any position, there is no force. You tell them there's one card printed in the deck and they're gonna work out where it is. When they tell you the number, you pick the deck up and you slowly and deliberately start dealing the cards onto the table. They can burn your hands every second. As you deal each card, you're turning them over so they can see they're blank on both sides. And when you reach their freely chosen number, that's where the printed card is. Guys, you know as well as me, in magic trailers, a lot of the time, what they tell you is what the audience sees is far from reality. But I'm telling you right now with the quantum deck, what I have just described to you is what happens every single time. Let me be serious for a minute. If my life was on the line and I had to fool the smartest person on the planet and I could pick any trick that's ever been created by anybody to fool that person, I'm telling you right now, I would pick the quantum deck. <laughs> 